My name is Tana Thompson and I'm a features writer here at the Daily Toreador and today I'm here in the free speech area to ask students their thoughts and opinions on the SB9 and the new heartbeat bill. I'm here with David. David, what is your name, your last name, your major, your classification, and your hometown? So my last name is David um, Aguilar. Um, I'm from Houston. I'm a political science major and I'm a sophomore here at Tech and I believe that what do you know about the SB9 and the heartbeat bill, and what are your thoughts and opinions on it? So I know that it's really restrictive on women's rights, and it inhibits um, a lot of their options here in Texas. And I don't think that um, it's a one case fits all type scenario, especially with like rape and incest. That's not even discussed or covered in SB9. I'm here with Morgan Stevens. And Morgan, what is your major classification and your hometown? Okay, I'm a junior. <laughs> I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm a kinesiology major with a minor in sex. Awesome. Yes. So what are your thoughts and opinions on the SB9 and the heartbeat bill? Okay, so what frustrates me about the heartbeat bill is they say that a fetus has a heartbeat at six weeks. Before. Okay, but the issue with that is a lot of women don't actually find out they're pregnant until a couple weeks, if not four weeks after that. So therefore, it's basically a loophole that they found to where they're basically just saying like, oh, you can't get an abortion at all because a lot of women don't find out till eight to 12 weeks. So how could she even know she wanted an abortion or if she needed to get that for her lifestyle, for different medical reasons, for just how the pregnancy happened if she didn't even know. So you've basically just taken that right for her to choose what she can do with her life, with her body, with her future children before she even has the chance. I'm here with Hope Regalado. And Hope, what is your major classification in your hometown? Uh, I am a electrical engineering student. I'm a sophomore and I am from Fort Worth. And what are your thoughts and opinions on the SB9 and the heartbeat bill? I think that it is a really unfair bill and uh, that you know, women, women should have the rights to do what they do with their body like and the government thing. should not. Um, be able to tell them what to do, and they kind of already said that with um, Roe v. Wade. They already said it with like Roe v. Wade and stuff. They already decided. So why are we going back to it if the highest court in the land has already decided? I'm here with Jillian Kennedy. Jillian, what is your major classification and hometown? I am an agriculture and applied economics major. I'm from Eastland, Texas, and I'm a junior at Texas Tech. Do you know about the SB9 and the new heartbeat bill? I do. Yes, what are your thoughts and opinions on it? I think that it's good that they are trying to do something to stop abortions, but I believe that a child is a human living child at the site of fertilization. And so even though they're trying at the heartbeat, I believe that that was already a child, so I am against it in that matter. As for the Human Life Protection Act, which is the SB9 bill, I think that it's weird that they can't hold the mother accountable for prosecution against the abortion, but I'm so glad they're doing the same thing and that the physicians can't be held accountable. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tana.